Hi, I'm Sheldon with VSL Consulting, and today we're going to talk a little bit about memory, the different types of memory you have for your computer, and how easy it is to swap out a stick if it goes bad or to add more memory if you want to. What I have here are three sticks of memory. Memory can come in different types and sizes. What I'm trying to illustrate here is three different types of memory. You can see by the bottom one there's two notches and then the middle notch or in the middle stick the notch is offset a little bit to the notch on the one. So anyways we're looking at DDR memory, DDR2 memory, there's DDR3, SD RAM memory comes in different types and sizes running from 128 megs to 2 gigs and even higher. So uh, memory is a thing you buy to install. You don't download it. You just you go out and you buy it and you put it in your computer. So now what you need to do is determine the type of memory you need and how much you need of it. And I would start by seeing how much your computer can hold. Um, memory is where you get most bang for your buck. Um, adding memory will just will be one of the best things you can do to make your computer quicker. There are two types of computers out there. There are clones and then there are name brands, you know, like Dell or Hewlett Packard or whatever. If you have a clone, then more than likely somebody built the computer for you and you hopefully still have the documentation that lets you know what kind of a motherboard you have, the specific type of motherboard. And then you can Google that motherboard and you'll eventually find out how much memory that motherboard will handle. And you do the same thing if you have a Dell. If you have a Dell 2400, for example, you would just Google Dell Dimension 2400 memory. And if you look through two or three sites, one of them not only will, you know, as they're trying to sell you the memory, they'll also tell you what kind of memory that, um, or how much memory that computer will hold, as well as what type of memory. So in other words, you'll see something that will say DDR2, you know, one gig stick, you know, this thing will hold two of those, this is how much it is. If you do have a name brand computer, I also like going, <clears throat> I also like going to forallmemory.com. Here I have a computer open and what we are looking at are two sticks of memory that are inserted into a motherboard which is this big circuit board. A motherboard is like a spinal cord in the respect that uh, your arms and your legs and your head attached to your spinal cord also does a hard drive, memory, CD-ROM, everything attaches to the motherboard. And what I'm going to do is pull out a memory stick so that you can hopefully see how easy it is to do. There's a little notch at the bottom here. If I pull it down, it opens up. And on top, I push this and it opens up. And the stick comes right out. You probably want to try and catch it. But, um... And then to put it back in, you, you push it in the slot and then push until the, the different levers snap into place. 